Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this trailer idler axle beam with the easy grease spindles. Now, a axle is a very important component in your trailer's suspension system, so you do want to make sure that you are getting the right axle for your trailer. This is a two and three eighths inch diameter round axle beam with a sturdy steel construction. It's gonna have a weight capacity of 3,500 pounds. Uh, so it will work great for your single axle trailers with a weight capacity of 3,500 pounds. Or if you wanted to double this up, it would work for a double axle trailer with a 7,000 pound weight capacity as well. Another very important measurement for you is uh, going to be the length. Uh, so there are two ways to measure the length here. Uh, the first is going to be from the center of our axle or our uh, spring seat to the center of our spring seat, which are welded onto our axle here. Uh, the, from the center of one to the center of the other, it's going to be right at 80 inches. The other way to measure is from our hub face on one side to the hub face on the other side, and that's going to be right at 95 inches. So again, make sure that that's going to work for your trailer. You can see this does have a little bit of a bend here in the middle. That's our camber that's going to allow us, uh, even when we have load on our trailer, it's going to make sure that our wheels are going to be nice and straight so we're not going to have to worry about uh, losing grip. Uh, the, the tread on our uh, tires is going to be right there on the road, the whole uh, full tread on the road, and we're not going to have to worry about our tires wearing unevenly or anything like that. So it's going to give us plenty of control, especially for our straight line pulling. Our spindles are an uh, easy grease straight spindle. So uh, you can see they are welded in place. Uh, they are welded here using a patented uh, welding process that actually slides the spindle over top of our axle rather than just butting up against it. So it's going to produce a 40% stronger spindle uh, to help prevent any spindle failure. You can see this is a straight uh, spindle, so it's not going to have any drop to it at all. And we do have this built-in grease zerk here on the end, which is going to make it very simple to lubricate our spindles and our ball bearings and everything in there. Uh, or not our ball bearings, but our bearings. Uh, we do have this cap with the grease zerk opening there, so we just have to uh, pull open that plug and we'll have access to our grease zerk so we can just hook up our grease gun and start pumping some grease through there rather than having to disassemble, pull out our bearings and pack them again. Uh, it's going to make it much easier for us to keep everything lubricated. You can see we do have the brake flange already attached here, which you're not going to need for your idler uh, hubs, but it will work for uh, adding brakes in the future if you ever wanted to upgrade and put some brakes on there. Our Idler hubs are a cast iron construction, so they are going to be very sturdy and durable. Our hub bolt pattern is five on four and a half inches, so it's going to work for your uh, 13 to 15 inch wheels. Uh, this uh, idler hub comes with the bearings, races, seals, and lug nuts. Um, the bearings are pre-packed, so you're not going to have to worry about uh, packing those, just get them slid in place, get everything assembled, and then just put a little extra grease through that grease zerk there, and you'll be ready to hit the road. Our spring seats, which I already talked about, are welded onto the bottom of our axle so uh, that we can mount our leaf springs in the underslung position, which is going to give us a lower ride height, which obviously helps to uh, make it a little bit easier to load and unload your trailer. Uh, we do also have a wire here, a double wire that runs through our axle from one side to the other. Uh, so that is for your electric brakes if you were to add them on in the future, just a little bit easier for you there to, rather than having to run that wire uh, yourself. This axle is made here in the USA, so you can trust. It's made to the high quality standards that we've come to know and trust for products that are made here in the US. It does meet the CSA, QAI, and SAEN certified standards, so you can trust uh, it does meet those quality standards. It will do a good job for you, hold up well. Uh, it does come with a limited lifetime warranty, so 
If you were to have any problems with it, you're more than welcome to reach out to us here at eTrailer.com. We're always happy to work with our customers to make sure that you're getting good quality products and having a good experience. And I think this axle is gonna do a good job for you. Again, make sure that it's going to have the weight capacity and length that you need for your trailer. And if those two things are uh, compatible with your trailer, I think you'll be very happy with it. The one thing I will say, uh, the finish on this isn't quite premium in my mind. Uh, there are other axles out there that might have a little nicer finish, uh, but I think this will do a great job for you. It's gonna hold up well. Um, once you have it underneath your trailer, I doubt you'll even notice it. So uh, in good, better, and best, I'd say this is probably a better kind of category. Uh, there are some best options out there if you wanted a, a more premium axle, but I think this will do a great job for you if you are just looking for a, a good axle that you can uh, put on your trailer and have a peace of mind and know that's going to take care of the job. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.